to go get the bags. I'm going down the baggage claim. I asked the guy, I said, hey, this is my flight. I missed my flight. I said, well, can I get my bags? He like, no. He's like, well, your bags are already going to Miami. I'm like, I don't even give a damn because it's material stuff. I'm like, skip it. I'll replace the shit. So she like, nah, I need my stuff. My whole life is in there. I'm like, look, I'll replace it. I don't give a damn. So as we leaving, you know how you going back and get your car. She grabbing me and she was like, no, I'm just going to trip. I can take an Uber. I'm like, how? You don't have your phone. How you going to call the Uber? So at this point, I'm like, skip it. I'm done and over with. So as we leaving, she grabbing me. She like, no, let's just go. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? Skip it. She want her bag. Let me just go get her bag and I'm turning the, the hell right back around. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of Fullery. All right, let's jump right into this. You know how these ladies are always talking about they want to meet the guy, uh, the guy that got the bag, you know. I want to meet the man that got the money, want to do this, want to fly me out and do all this other stuff. Okay, this sister found him. Sister ran up on the dude on Kendra G's show, flew her out to Miami, all expenses paid, and she blew the elf out the bag. Blew it. But you'll never guess how she blew it. So this is where we at. I'm not even going to spoil it for you. I'm going to jump right in it. Make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe, and definitely hit that notification bell for what? To get the next video. And no further ado, let's jump right in here. How she blew the bag. I'm good. I have an update. And I'm so hurt. I can't see you. Can you see me now? Okay. You were here before? Yes, I have. I was here like May, April. Give me the back story. Uh, dental assistant inside the car uh, with my mom. He tried to hook me up with the guy who was looking for a dental uh, dentist. But I think he, I remember. Yeah. So that's me. Hi, Tasia Edwards again. Okay, so y'all get, get steady, sweetheart. Honey, what's your update, sweetheart? Oh, my gosh. So I met this amazing man, like, through your show. He contacted me um, not too long ago. And then um, I blew it. I blew it big time. He took me out to Miami. Um, that was our, our actual first date and meeting. So I was like a little skeptical background in him. He actually watches your show. So if you're on here, join, please. Let's have a conversation. Let's fix this. I want I want to fix it. I want to fix it. How did so, you blow it? How, how did you blow it? Oh my God. I don't want to sound like I have a problem or anything, but we got into it in Miami. I decided to drink and I drunk to the point that I ended up in the hospital. So whole vacation blown. Trash. Girl, you got that drunk, you had to go to the hospital? Yeah. For alcohol poisoning. And from then there, like, I can understand, like, you just killed the trip, you look like a fucking alcoholic, and you just pissed me the fuck off. Excuse me for all my cursing, but I can see how, like, yeah, kind of don't want to mess with you. Ah, so uh, I don't know about you, but it sounds like she's leaving something out. It really do. It just, that just don't, don't sound right. Like, mm, y'all arguing that quick? Mm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, my I'm God. So, so, did you talk to him after? Um, I mean, we had to fly home together. I mean, <laughs> we had to fly home together, but it sat right next to each other, but no words were spoken. So, as we got to O'Hare, it was. Oh, you're from Chicago? Yeah. And he, he lives in Chicago. Yeah. So wait, so you guys, so you haven't, and when was this? We went to Miami like last month. And you haven't talked to him since? Nope. Still got him on Facebook. He won't contact me. I see him on your show all the time, hoping he'll get on. Like, I blew it. And I'm very upset <laughs> about it because that was a great man. He was very nice, such a gentleman, open doors, this, that, and the third. He was 33, so it was only like a small age gap difference. He had one child, he took care of him, truck driver, and a chef. I'm like, oh my God, I don't have to clean, I don't have to cook. 
because you like it. Like, oh my God, I'm here for it. So yeah, blew that shit out the water. Mad as hell about it. Oh, if everything was going so well, why were you arguing to a point that you started drinking so much? What happened? You know, you're leaving out a lot of things. Like, what happened? She's just not telling it. So let's, I don't know. I just want y'all to stay on these little things that she's saying. And then we're going to get to the real nitty gritty, as they say. More of the story. More so do you even want to put yourself out there? Or do you want to just put a plea to him directly? Prefer to him. I'm not going to lie. Prefer to him. I am sorry. I've been saying sorry. Like, it's, do you want? It's a very okay. I think you shouldn't share his name because he probably doesn't. Well, it's up to you. Do you want to share his I'm not name? Put okay. his information out there, that and I don't want to. Yeah, I problems, think so. My feelings are saying don't, don't say his name, but he knows you know who you are, and she is coming on this live, admitting that she made a mistake and she's just asking for a second opportunity. Yes, yes, because I can't believe I blew Miami. Like, who does that? Okay, so you guys got the backstory, right? What happened? She met the guy and they got into it and she got into some drinks. You know, it could happen. You know, you got upset, you start drinking and accidentally got a little tipsy and had to go to the hospital, you know, and he wasn't feeling it too much. And you, you know, it, it could happen until, until I found the guy that she, that flew her out to Miami. And he had his version of what happened. So now y'all really stick and hang out, get you some popcorn or something, whatever y'all people do when you're sitting in your house, and check out what he had to say. Let's get it. Hello, Ken. Hi, what's your name? I'm Lionel. Lionel, move back a little bit because your phone's getting. And, and wipe your phone. I want to make sure you're clear. Is that better? Yes, yeah, it's better. And I hope this slide is good. Sometimes it's hard for me to see. Okay, I can work with this. All right, so Lionel, we didn't know your name, but a woman called me up and said she met a guy from Chicago, um, and um, he took her to Miami, and she got so drunk she had to go to the hospital and completely ruined the trip. She was very willing to take responsibility, and she wanted a second chance with the guy, and she said you were good-looking, you were attractive, you were... You did nothing wrong. It was all on her, and you blocked her and didn't give her a second chance. Deja, honey, what's your update, sweetheart? Oh, my gosh. So I met this amazing man, like, through your show. He contacted me um, not too long ago, and then um, I blew it. I blew it big time. He took me out to Miami. Um, that was our, our actual first date and meeting. So I was, like, a little skeptical, background in him. He actually watches your show. So if you're on here, join, please. Let's have a conversation. Let's fix this. I want, I want to fix it. I want to fix it. How did so, you blow it? How, how did you blow it? Oh, my God. I don't want to sound like I have a problem or anything, but we got into it in Miami. I decided to drink, and I drunk to the point that I ended up in the hospital. So the whole vacation, blown. Trash. Girl, you got that drunk. You got to go to the hospital? Yeah. For alcohol poisoning. And from then there, like, I can understand, like, you just killed the trip, you look like a fucking alcoholic, and you just pissed me the fuck off. Excuse me for all my cursing, but I can see how, like, yeah, kind of don't want to mess with you. So, yeah. Oh, my I'm God. Okay, so, y'all notice, and I'm glad to put that little clip in there. You notice she said they got into it. Then she started drinking. Now, that's why it's always good to get the story from someone else, the other person, the uh, party, because people going to tell it the way they don't want you to see them in a bad light. Now, she says she got drunk, but she ain't telling you everything. So, y'all just pay attention to what the brothers say. Remember, she said she didn't start drinking until they got in an argument in, it, in Miami. All right. We did not know your name, but you reached out to me to make me aware that you are the guy. So since you are the guy, give us your version to the story. Okay. Well, the version she said was not true. Number one, let's start. So I 
she was on your show. So we was talking before. So my trip to Miami was already planned. Okay. So we linked up at her house before and we talked prior to. So Miami wasn't the first time that we linked up or got in contact with each other. So that was a lie. So let's start with the day of the trip. The day of the trip, she didn't answer the phone. So I was calling her because I got an early morning flight at like seven o'clock in the morning. So I was blowing up her phone, she didn't answer. So I want to say around like 5.15, she answered. She said, oh my God, I was drunk in the bathtub. So when upstairs to get her bag, she had like a bunch of face stuff on her face, she was like literally drunk, like you could smell alcohol on her. And it was like, before then, I knew she had a problem, because you know how you can, get, you can kind of tell, but I didn't want to accept it, okay? So as we leave, and you got everything, she's like, yeah. So now we basically rush into O'Hare Airport. So when we get to O'Hare, we miss the flight, because we was late. We get to the gate, all the flights is booked from Miami. Get you guys on a standby flight. I'm like, okay, cool. So when we get to the, the gate, they load up the first plane and the lady called me to the to the gate. She said, one of you guys can go now and I get the next person on the next flight, which is 45 minutes later. I'm like, okay, cool. So I go tell her, I'm like, why don't you go first and I'll meet you in Miami? I'm not leaving. I'm like, why not? She's like, well, I don't have my phone. Where is your phone? She left her, her phone at home. So I'm like, you need, I'm like, just go. I'm like, just sit at the gate and I'll meet you in Miami. Well, I don't want to leave without a phone. I'm like, this is American. Just go where American is at and I'll meet you there. So she didn't want to go. I'm like, I'm like, all right, whatever. So the lady asked me, she's like, you sure? I'm like, well, if we don't go, what is the chances of us going? She like, well, it's going to be hard because basically all the flights was booked. So at that point, I'm like, you know what? I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't even want to go on a trip. I'm done. So right when I said I'm done, the hotel transaction went through on my phone. And I'm like, fuck. I'm like, man, fuck. I don't think I can get it back. So as we leaving to go get the bags, I'm going down the baggage claim. I asked the guy, I said, hey, this is my flight. I missed my flight. I said, well, can I get my bags? He like, no. He's like, well, your bags is already going to Miami. I'm like, I don't even give a damn because it's material stuff. I'm like, skip it. I'll replace the shit. So she like, nah, I need my stuff. My whole life is in there. I'm like, look, I'll replace it. I don't give a damn. So as we leaving, you know how you going back and get your car. She grabbing me and she was like, no, I'm just going to trip. I can take an Uber. I'm like, how? You don't have your phone. How are you going to call the Uber? So at this point, I'm like, skip it. I'm done and over with. So as we leaving, she grabbing me. She like, no, let's just go. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? Skip it. She want her bag. Let me just go get her bag. And I'm turning the, the hell right back around. So I'm on the phone with American, you know, trying to get a flight. They tell me, well, the next flight out is at 4 o'clock. Remind me, we had set, we had the airport at 7 o'clock in the morning. So then we go back to the gate. Now we're waiting on the flight. She goes back to sleep. But you can smell the liquor on her. You know how a drunk, when they sit there, they, they nod out. So now she sleeps. So as we sleep, I said, okay, I wake her up to get something to eat. So I go back. Okay, so I just need to stop for a sec. And y'all notice. He's smelling alcohol. She's drunk at home in the tub. Even when he picked her up, she was hungover like dragging. So the girl started drinking the night before and pretty much still hungover, done left stuff, leaving stuff. This a train wreck already waiting to happen. Waiting to happen. This first date now. And all this is going on. And they just, they still sitting at the airport now. So all this happened, they still sitting at the airport. And nothing going right yet. So, I don't know what the young lady talking about. And he hadn't got into an argument yet. They got into disagreements based off her behavior right now and her actions. But, 
Let's get it. Let's see why she started doing what she was doing. Buy something, go get her something to drink. Now she go back to sleep. So when she wake up, she like, oh, I'm gonna go to the bar. I'm like, what do you mean you're gonna go to the bar? So she goes to the bar. When she comes back, she comes back with a bracelet on. The bracelet came from some guy she met at the bar. She didn't get the bracelet from me. The bar, the bracelet came from a gay guy at a bar. So I'm like, okay. But wait, real quick. I want to make sure I'm following along. This is at the O'Hare Airport? Yeah, this is at O'Hare Airport. So, you, okay. So this is at the, so y'all didn't even make it to Miami yet? No, but we missed the flight because she was drunk in the bathroom. So she was drunk before y'all even got to Miami? Before we even got to Miami. Okay. Bingo. Told you. The chick was drunk from the night prior, still drunk, going through this the next day. And now she's going to the bar to get more drinks. Sound like a problem to me. Definitely one waiting to happen. But let's see. Because she's saying it like dude should take her back. Let's see. Should he take her ass back? Okay. So in the midst of that, I tell her like this. I say, I'm not buying you anything to drink whatsoever. I said, no. I said, you have a drinking problem. Period. So... Next thing you know, we go to Miami, and my man already got it made up. I'm I done. I got a question. So did y'all get on the same flight to Miami, or did y'all go on separate yeah, flight? flight. So okay. I said skip the standby. So we got on the 4 o'clock flight. Okay. Okay. So now we get to Miami. We get the rental car. I'm like, at this point, it's already 9 o'clock. I swear to been in Miami at 11 o'clock in the morning. It's damn near 9 o'clock at night. So we go get the rental and now we go to the restaurant, we order and she like, can I get a drink? I said, I'm not buying you nothing to drink. I said, if you want something to drink, you pay for it, period. So she paid for her drink. We go to the room, we go to sleep. The next morning, she's like, well, what do you want to do? I said, there's nothing to do. I said, I'm already trying to book a flight back to Chicago. You got your bags, ain't nothing to talk about. So I couldn't get a nonstop flight. I don't like layovers. So we couldn't get a nonstop flight. I said, you know what, skip it. Let's go get breakfast. So go get breakfast. I'm on the phone with America. I said, hey, is there any way you can get me the first flight smoking first thing in the morning? So they was like, okay, we can change. I was, we were supposed to leave Monday. So I got the first flight. What day is this? Is it Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Saturday, okay. So I said, give me the first flight Sunday morning. Whatever you got, nonstop, back to Chicago, no extra stops, I can go right there. So they said, we got a flight 5.45 in the morning. Okay, cool. So she like, well, I want to go to the beach. I said, okay, whatever. So we walk around the beach. And at this time, I'm like, well, I got the boat tour because I booked the boat tour with a brunch. I said, well, let's go to this right now. So as we drive into the boat, she studied. You know how you try to surprise somebody? She studied asking questions. I'm like, just relax and wait. So as we go to the boat, I don't know where I'm going. So I asked the guy. I said, hey, where is this at? I'm using my phone. She's like, where are we going? I don't want to go nowhere like this. I'm like, it's a boat. So she's like, just take it back to the room. Oh, fuck it then. I don't care. So now, as we walking back to the car, we get in the car and she's like, can I charge two drinks to, your, to the room? I'm like, no. I said, I told you I'm not buying you nothing to drink. So she's like, well, I'm just going to charge it up. Oh, no the hell you ain't. So I instantly messaged the hotel, and I sent you the proof. I messaged the hotel like, hey, if anybody charges anything into my room, that's not me. Do not allow it whatsoever. So as we get back to the hotel, she like, let me out. Okay, cool. So I let her out. She goes, I don't know where she go. So I parked the car. Next thing you know, I'm looking for her. I don't see her. So I went to the bar to watch the game. So I'm still looking for her. I don't see her. I want to say roughly like 30 minutes later, I see her walk past me. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me go upstairs and get my swim trunks on. I go upstairs. I promise I was only upstairs for 20 minutes, 20 minutes tops. So I go upstairs. My phone is ringing as I'm trying to get ready. It's a Miami number. I'm thinking, fam, bill collector. I ain't got to answer y'all. So I called back. I said, did somebody call this number? So they was like, okay, we'll call you back. I look over the balcony, I see her laying down, like she slumped over like this. I see two guys pick her up. The hotel called me and 
say, hey, are you with such and such? I'm like, yeah. They're like, well, it's an emergency. You need to come downstairs. So now I go downstairs. They're wheeling her in a fucking wheelchair. They're wheeling her through the lobby. She's foaming like she's slobbing by the damn mouth, but she's like this inside the wheelchair, like just slobbing, Kendra. I'm talking about slobbing. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the? Now, she left all that out. All that. She said, I just got a little drunk, got a little alcohol poor, had to go to the hospital. I'm going to fix it. You know how embarrassing that has to be? That they are rolling your woman up in a damn wheelchair and you over there drooling, slobbing all out the mouth drunk? And it's probably like noon. And this is y'all first time together? <sighs> Ladies, y'all got to stop asking for these dudes and y'all don't know how to act. Y'all just got to stop. This is so embarrassing. This so now the paramedics come. The paramedics come, they trying to put some shit on her and they told her that she was unconscious. Basically, she had, she, like, she wasn't breathing and stuff. So they trying to rush her. So they told me, they said, well, they gave me the hotel, they gave me the um the hospital she was going to. I said, well, let me go upstairs and grab her, her purse, all her information in it, and my wallet. So as we go to the the the, uh, the hospital, the, the lady tell me, she was like, well, she's heavily intoxicated. You have to come back later, give us a call. So we I go back to the room, I call her, I call the hospital. They said, well, she's still heavily intoxicated. So at this point, I text her mother. So I informed her mother because I didn't tell you. So at the at the at the airport, let's go back. At the airport, I told her to call her mother to let her know, you know, I, I have a daughter. So I said, let your mother know, you know, that the flight was, was delayed because she didn't have her phone, because she got a daughter. So I text her mother and say, hey, this is Lionel, you know, your daughter got drunk, bam, because she drank a fifth in less than 20 minutes, a fifth of tequila. She drank a fifth in 20 minutes. I was only gone for 20 minutes. Like, she killed the whole fifth. It wasn't like two shots. She killed the whole fifth. So then ah, dang. She put down a whole fifth in less than 20 minutes? Now, didn't she say... She don't want to make it seem like she got a problem. I'm going to say you have a hell of a lot of problems. Like you stone cold alcoholic, man. A drunk. Why no? You're drunk. What else you want to call it? And y'all out here asking for these wealthy men. And you're drunk. You see what I'm saying? What the? Okay, let's see if there's anything else. I don't, I, you would think that's it, right? But. Then I go, I'm calling. I'm like, she ain't gonna miss this damn flight. Y'all gonna have to pump her up with something because we got a five o'clock flight. So I call back at nine o'clock at night. They like, well, she's still heavy intoxicated. Give us a few more hours. So now it's like 12 o'clock. I'm like, Hey, um, we got to go. So they called me back, back around like one in the morning and said, you know, she's good to go. You come pick her up. I already packed a bag. The bag's already in the car. Ain't no, ain't no sleeping. So we was at the hotel. Got she got her stuff. We went back and I told her. I said, you need help. I said because you too young to be drinking like that. And after that, I got up. I made. I texted her mom when we made it back to Chicago. I texted her mom and said, hey. We landed. Your daughter is back at home. I got the hell out. I didn't bring her bags upstairs. Nothing. I dropped that ass off at the door. Put her bags outside. <laughs> Scared of the door. Oh, child. So, I guess the part she left out was she was drunk before y'all went to Miami. Yes. She definitely said she got drunk in Miami. She said she blacked out, so she didn't remember a lot. Um, 
but you thought as though when she came on, and I think she, she was very, um, she, took, she took the blame. So she said it was all her fault, but you felt as though she still lied to me? It was just, it was the way she worded the story. Like we just linked in Miami. It wasn't like that. And then also it was like the way, the way she narrated the story, no, it was not. It was more like you fumbled the bag. I should never win in the first place, but I was like, you know what, skip it. But I really only went because she wanted her items. I could have replaced it, the items, because that's it's material stuff. They come and go. But she wanted her bag so much. But I'm like, you know, I don't give a damn about the money. That shit comes and go. I just really to go just get her bag, and that was it. Okay. So, obviously, you oh, thought she wanted she, right? she keep calling. Like, I'm like, bro, she called, like, 20 times a day. And it's like... I'm not answering. I'm asleep at 7, 8 o'clock at night. So, okay, they're saying, yes, yeah, she lied. She lied. Um, so, wow, she really does have a drinking problem if she was drunk before y'all even went to Miami. If, if, if her own mother said it, because at the airport, when she went to the bar for the first time, I called her mother, and I asked her, I said, hey, do your daughter have a drinking problem? And if your mother admit that and said that she don't want to accept it, then that... Uh, no disrespect, you uh, you should have left her. You should have left her when she, the first day before y'all left at that airport, I was like, you just had to wait for that bag to get flown back home. I'm not taking you nowhere out here drunk like this. I'm just saying, you just took a couple days of frustration and humiliation and and just dealt with it. And she got the nerve to come on the show and ask for this man back as if he should give her a second chance when you basically showed him who you were. You showed him exactly who you are. You're a freaking drunk. An old, nasty-ass female drunk. I would say the worst of the worst to find a woman that's a drunk. A wino. It's bad because you got to think, if you drunk in a bathtub, something else could have really, you could have drowned in a bathtub Absolutely. being drunk. You sure what I'm saying? No, we get it. So, if, um, do you have her block now? Yeah, I got a block. But she called from a text now number. Oh, she's been calling you from different phone numbers? Yeah. Okay. Um, Not only that, this is how crazy this chick is. She found out somehow that his sister lives in the same complex as her like around the corner, something about like big complex. She's contemplating stalking the sister to try to get to him. You ran into him in Chicago? No, you know, it's oddly enough, his sister lives in the same building I do. And I'm this close to stalking. I'm, I'm like, this. See? Now, this is why a lot of you ladies are single. It ain't got nothing to do with the dudes out here. It's how you carry yourselves and that behavior that you guys have. See, you've done shit wrong so much that it becomes normal. And then when you get around dudes that have regular lives, your stuff come off weird. That's it. You out here thinking you normal, but your shit is weird. All the drinking, the partying, the wearing the half-naked clothing, the swearing. All that stuff is weird in the regular world because regular people don't do all that. So when you bring, I'll call it the old hood mentality or ghetto mentality to someone that's not trying to be a part of that, it ain't going to be a good fit, ladies. So you got to know how to, to flip that shit. I'm just going to be honest. Don't ask for them dudes that got this stuff going on because they're not hanging out like that. They trying to do something with themselves. They don't want no woman coming around that you can't even sit with people that drink because they worry you're going to drink too much. So, it's clear. I, I think it's very evident you're not giving her a second chance. It'd be a cold damn hell, Kendra. Uh-huh. Hell no. Hell motherfucking no, Kendra. I'm good. I'm good, bro. No. No.
No. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me on this one. I thought this would be a little interesting how people change that story up, don't they? And then the real truth hits. So let me ask you, should he take her back? Should he give her a second shot? Hit me in the comments. Y'all let me know. I know what my answer's going to be. My answer would have been up the first when I picked her up. I would have left her ass on the steps. But, hey, people are different. People try to be nice. That's why I say be a dog. With all that being said, it's time for me to get up out of here. So as always and always and always, it is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace.